I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely having fun. We're definitely in much more fun and exciting times in crypto. And yes, days like today and yesterday kind of suck. Ada pulling back about another 6.7% on the daily candle here. And I want to talk about why we are, in fact, seeing a pullback right now and something to pay attention to today, because remember, today is a very important day for the crypto market. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So first of all, I have to say that that everybody tends to have this expectation when it comes to assets in the space that they're going to do something like this, that the chart is just going to be just a straight line up into the right. That's that's not usually how it works, especially for for t assets that are worth worth tens of billions of dollars like Ada is. So when we go on these rip roaring runs like we experienced over the last week and a half or so, we're going to have days of cool down. It's pretty much programmed in. OK, so Ada is actually pulled back to around that range we were talking about down to the 54 cent range. And we're, we're trying to see if we're going to find support there. And you guys can see that Ada is not doing anything different outside of the market. You know, most of the assets are down between five to 10 percent currently just on the daily candle that started at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time yesterday. That's that's not really surprising. Alts are, are kind of just waiting. All right, you have people taking profits, you have a little bit of sell off happening, a little bit of consolidation. And what's kind of interesting about this is this is all playing out exactly the same as it did in November of last year on the same exact days. In fact, we look at ADA at this point in 2023, you guys can see November 13th was a sell off day. And then we traded sideways, we slowly moved up into the right. And then once we hit December, we really extended and moved even further. It's possible that that obviously continues here. We'll have to wait and see. And this is while BTC has obviously had a couple days where it has struggled to make up some ground as well. All right. And why I say struggled to make up some ground is because you have retail selling going on while you are, in fact, seeing big institutional buying. Another huge, huge day, $817 million dollars where the VIN flows in terms of institutional money. So you have the two entities that are, are fighting each other right now. We we did get, I believe, into a little bit of long liquidations yesterday too. Nothing crazy, but we are in fact full uh, format. Uh, wow, can't speak. We are in fact forming this bull pennant currently. And the interesting thing about this as well is BTC is again doing exactly what it did at this point in 2023. In fact, you guys can see the bull pennant playing out right here all the way leading up to November 13th kind of funny that this is following exactly what it did last year. All right. Now I have to say, looking back, even at last cycle, you guys can see when we got into November and BTC started taking some legs here, there were moments of consolidation. We saw that the basically first week of November, and we saw that the following week, which is around the same time frame as, as now go figure. So what you need to know is that these things are kind of programmed in per se. Now they don't always play out exactly the same and we'll see cuz last time or this time last year BTC broke down slightly before continuing and extending to the upside. We also didn't have institutional money pushing the way, but the biggest thing that right now the market is kind of waiting for today is a CPI report. And there's a little bit of um uncertainty when it comes to the CPI report cuz expectations are that inflation is actually going to rise from 2.4% to 2.6%. And that is obviously inflation kind of stalling for the time being, that's not getting to the Fed rate uh, expectations of 2.0. So what that means is that it lessens the likelihood for further interest rate decreases, right? It's going to take longer to essentially get back to the mean. And right now, the, the market isn't necessarily liking this data. Now, this could completely change. If we get our CPI report today at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, and this report is actually a cool report, which is a lot of what we've been seeing. We've been seeing infl uh, inflation come in better than expectations. Then the market might start to run a little bit. This isn't a guarantee. This isn't financial advice or anything like that. But just know that these things still do play an impact, even though we're getting into some of the most exciting times in crypto. All right. Now, yes, it sucks. I get it. I know that uh, it, it would be great if Ada just stuck up here. I've seen people talk about it dropping back down to 34 cents. I, I don't think that's in the cards right now. There's too much excitement. BTC at 87 K currently. There is too much optics. There's too much interest. You're starting to see outside capital begin to flow in. And frankly, we're very, very close to alt season again. 
All right. I know I've mentioned this a bunch. It's something that we definitely need to monitor and pay attention to. I'm sure BTC dominance over the last day probably was on the rise with BTC doing what it was doing. Yep. Actually climbed up to 61%. So again, this that's why I said I didn't want to necessarily call this yet because we obviously saw what took place over the last 24 hours. Once we continue to get this instilled confidence in the market, you're going to see this, this drop off in a significant way. Maybe it doesn't drop as low as it has historically because of uh, institutional money, but maybe it does because of mass adoption. This cycle is the same, but it's different. All right. It's following the same path, but the players are different. The capital is different. And the way that some timelines are being executed is slightly different as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Pay attention today. The CPI report might give us a little bit of a boost in the market. We'll see what happens. But have a great day. Show your love below. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.